guys, what is going on? Linky here and welcome to a Minecraft snapshot video now. I don't regularly do these, but there's been a lot of talk from me and other people on Twitter about the new 1.9 update and what it does for Minecraft and what it does for PvP in general. So we're going to be going over all of the features that I think are important at least in the update so far. I've laid them all out for us today and we're going to be taking a look at every single one. If you, I have like really little frames for the snapshot, so if it is a bit laggy, uh, I do apologize. It, I'm doing the best I can, running the best that I can possibly run with this update. I just had to move away from my mic as well. But anyway guys, we're going to get started here with probably one of the new changes. We're going to go over the blocks first. We're going to go over the... The cool stuff first. So the first thing is, there are new blocks that appear in end dungeons called purper blocks. So we first have the normal purper block. That can be crafted into purper pillar blocks, purper stairs, and purper slabs. And as you can see, they're all here in their items. They look pretty cool. I like the purple design to them. I think they're really nice. And if we go over here onto the other side, a few new blocks. Also, we can get rid of these now. I'll explain that later. A few new blocks. We have the end rods, which are, they give off an animation sort of like a light, and they're, just, they're rods that you can step on and you can parkour on and all that cool stuff. The next thing is a chorus plant. This is the item that comes off of this, which is the chorus flower. These are new, uh, these are new plants that can be found in the end, and they're pretty nice. I like, I like the design of them. I like, I like the whole purple thing they're going for in the end. And then next, they finally gave us end stone bricks, so I believe you can craft these by putting four end by putting four of the end stone here into a crafting table like so, and it'll give you an end stone brick. So that's pretty cool. Finally, they added that. That's something that they really should have added a long time ago, and they finally added it. The next thing is they've added a new item, a new food item, if I can find it. Here it is, beetroot and beetroot soup. So beetroots are these new items, and they can be crafted into a new stew-like item called beetroot soup. So that's the new item there, and that's the new food type added in Minecraft. Also, Rabbit Stew's been here for a while. I just realized it was in the game a few months back, so that's a dirt moment for me. Let's move on to the next thing that's in the end, which is a new mob. This is the Shulker mob. If we go inside, I've named him Jimmy. He might come out for us. If we punch him, he might show his face. Come on, Jimmy. You, gonna, you gotta do something. So, Jimmy... Uh, there it is. So you can see his face under there. He's under there. See his eyes? That's the new mob in the end. He will shoot rays at you when you're in survival. Like if we go game mode, if we go game mode zero, he'll shoot rays at us. As you can see here, it'll hit us and it'll give us a new effect called levitation. And that is going to give us a levitation effect. He's going to fire these kind of like tracking beams at us. And that is going to give us the levitation effect, which is about to run out. And then it'll drop us up. Oh, and we got that again. Let's switch back into creative mode here. But that is the new levitation effect that the Shulker mob gives you. Pretty cool. I like it. The next thing is we can now obtain the Ender Dragon Head. So as you can see, here it is. Here's the Ender Dragon Head. Looks pretty cool. I like it. And then I like a lot of the stuff in the 1.9 update. Let me just state that. And you can put it on your head, and you're now wearing the Ender Dragon Head. It's pretty cool. And as you walk, it flaps its mouth open and closed. So that is another new feature. I don't know what the Shulker mob is doing. It's making noises in here. What are you doing, friend? That's cool. And also, we have this new item called Dragon's Breath. I don't know what happens. Let's go away from those mobs. Let's go over outside of the tree line here. And let me switch back into survival. I don't know what this does. I don't know. It could be used in a crafting recipe. You can't drink it. Like, I'm trying to drink it right now. Can't do anything with that. So, I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of the Dragon's Breath is. But it has been added into the game. And it is a new feature in Minecraft, so that's pretty cool. Next thing we have to go over is dual wielding. So let me pull out a bow. Actually, let's go over a few, let's go over things in order here. First new item you can craft using this recipe here in a crafting table, as we can see here, is a shield. So if we take a look at the shield, this is the shield. It equips to your arm, and you can block by holding down right click, and you can block and defend yourself against mobs. Just like with a sword, when you right click, when you used to right click, it'll slow you down. It'll also defend you. And it looks pretty nice in the hand. I can definitely see myself keeping this equipped on maybe like the dual wielding section, which we'll go over in a second. Constantly defend myself in caves. I think that's pretty cool. And if we want to craft it right here, we can as well. So you put the wood here, the wool here, and you put an iron ingot and you get a shield. So that's the crafting recipe for a shield. Of course, you can dye the shield in various fashions and make it into different colors if we go to shield. 
you can dye it in different colors, you can customize it just like a banner. So, that's nice. Let's go equip that shield, because we're going to be needing this in the future. So now, guys, let's move on to probably the most controversial part of the 1.9 snapshots, at least in the PvP community, are the changes to melee. So let's go over this here. I'll grab all these different items. As we can see here, bow, we'll grab, we'll go over arrows in a second, but let's go over, let's actually just put the arrows back in for a second. But let's go over, you can see it there. Let's go over all the new changes. So firstly, if you go into your video settings, there's a new thing called an attack indicator. You have two areas you can put this in. You can put this under your crosshair, or you can put it in my preferred spot, which is the hotbar. So, as you can see, if we switch back, as you can see, you can see that attack indicator there. What we're going to do is I'm going to give myself some iron armor here, just to, just to defend myself from the skeleton once I go into survival mode. So let's give myself some iron armor, and let me get... Let me get some food here. Let's just grab 64 raw pork chops. Let me run over here, switch back into survival, like so, okay, and let me eat this. And as you can see, it gives you this effect with hands as well. It's an interesting, interesting idea. But firstly, you have your shield spot, which is also your dual wielding spot. So you can either, you can either start dual wielding by putting this here, and it'll equip it into your second hand. So you can now have a diamond sword and a shield, and you can block with the shield, hit with the diamond sword, block with shield, hit diamond sword. So a lot of different combinations you can do. If you also want to equip something to dual wielding for a food example, you can hit the F key on your keyboard and it'll bind that item into your dual wielding spot. And if you're running around caving and all this stuff and you get low, you can just hold down right click and you'll begin eating if you need to. So that's another option. So for now, we're going to equip the shield into our key and we're going to go over to this zombie now. Let's demonstrate the skeleton actually first, because that one will cause problems. So, skeletons, if we can get close, will now draw back their bow and fire at you. So, as you can see, they will draw back their bow, and they'll fire at you like so. And if we want to protect ourselves, we can defend ourselves with shield. Let's take a look. That doesn't do, that does barely anything when we have our shield defended. But, whenever the skeleton hits you with an arrow, it'll do damage to the shield's uh, durability. If we stop shielding, it'll hit us. So, that's what's going to happen. Let's get rid of the slime. So, that's what happens. Let's kill off the skeleton. Get rid of him, and you, so you can see they give off little hearts when you attack them now, and he's dead, so no more worrying about him. Now, here's probably, let's get rid of this, this is kind of in the way. Here's probably the most controversial topic about all of the 1.9 update. You can no longer spam click your sword. Let's try to kill this mob by clicking really fast like we do in past updates. Bam, 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 we're just really spamming it. And as you can see by the attack indicator down there, we're doing little to no damage. You can see the attack indicator on the bottom is not filling up at all, not at all. So let's just see how many hits it takes us with a diamond sword to kill this zombie. That was over 20 hits, over 30 hits maybe. So let me go back into game mode 1. Let's get ourselves another zombie. And let's go back into survival. And let's spawn this zombie here. Oh, he's burning. Never mind. Let me kill him quickly, but I'll demonstrate this quickly. There you go, he's dead. Let me show you what happens when you spawn a zombie. So if we take this zombie, we spawn him in here. Here he is. Switch back into survival. And now if I wait, so if, if we wait for the arrow indicator to fill up, let's hit him once. Good. It's filled up. Hit him again. Good. Filled up. Third time. He's dead. Three hits. This is the new change to PvP. You have to wait to charge up your hits with your sword. Now, a lot of people in the PvP community have come out and said, this is going to destroy PvP. And I have a similar stance. My opinion also, there's a glitch where it happens with your with your fist. I haven't tested this yet, but if we try blocking, no, it doesn't affect it there, but if we try to punch like a slime with our fist, the charge rate still applies. It's much quicker, but the charge rate does apply. And I hope that's a bug that they'll be fixing pretty soon. I haven't tested it with axes yet, but I don't know. Also, see, as you can see, the plant is growing. But it's a very controversial topic because it kills PvP. It kills the original idea of PvP, and that's where I want to make my stance very clear. If this update happens, I'm definitely not for this change. I'm not for this change. If I had a choice, if my choice was the one they would make, I would choose to not implement this and keep sword PvP the way it was. But I've got a very strange feeling that they're going to make this change, and we're going to have to all get used to it. I think, I don't think it's going to kill PvP. Let me just state that. What I do think is going to happen is it's going to completely change how PvP is done. Some may say it's for the better, very few may say it's for the better. But it is going to change PvP. It's going to make things a lot different. I wouldn't say it's going to make it easier, and I wouldn't say it's going to make it more tactical. But what I would say is it's going to be different. 
Some people may say it's good. Some people may say it's bad. It's definitely going to be different, and we're just going to have to see. So anyway, guys, I want to know what your opinion is on the new snapshot. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like, and if you're not subscribed already, be sure to click that subscribe button because it's very much appreciated. And as always, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace.